And then he also says, well, maybe you should have had somebody better on there. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's my argument. Is some of those know. names are names we recognize. Second names place we knew. is still good, but it's not first. It's place. the first loser, though technically. I feel you. Hey guys, what's going on? Tony from Lone Wolf, Mark from Lone Wolf, and today we are bringing you the best paintball news. In the country, in the world, what do you think? Anywhere, just period. Anywhere. PBNation.com has the best paintball news up to date. Check out their forums and obviously what's happening in paintball. So, so what's happening, dude? I don't know, dude. Not what's much. Up? What's happening? Uh, what do we got going on here today? A uh, couple different stories, not a lot, but we're going to talk about the Nations Cup in Europe. Men's squad, <sighs> in 17 Prague. teams, 17 countries, Nations Cup in Prague. It happened back in uh, the, around the 19th of July. So it's been a little bit uh, since it happened, but what do you think? Was so, that a cool thing? Was it not a cool it's thing? A, it, it, well, not cool for the USA because last year was the first time that the Russians, in five years, they, they broke the USA winning streak. So the USA won, if, if I'm correct, five times in a row each year. The Russians in 2018 beat them, and guess what? The Russians in 2019 beat them as well. And you know what? Uh, a good, you know, remember that park we went to, Hollywood Sports Park yeah. in California? Yeah. The guy, um, you know, named Bear, Bear Grills. Very cool guy. Bear, Bear to GDO. Big, um, big fan. Big, Mark's a big fan. I like Bear. Uh, he, cool. he rips into Team USA saying, how can you have the best players in the country of the United States of America go over and lose to the Russians? I mean, literally cherry picking some of the best players, and that's why he rips Wait, into I'll, them. I'll tell you why. He rips into because them. the Russians cherry pick their best players, and their best players happen to be better than ours. That that's this event. fair, and that's what Bear that's was what saying. Happens. He ripped into him, saying, "You guys didn't pick the best USA players." I don't know. There's so many good players out there. Whether the, they did or didn't, that it, it is what it yeah. is. It's tournament paintball. So, Any team so can name lose. A, name a player that was on the team. Do you remember current roster for the U.S. for the 2019? You're talking Montressor. You're talking Nick Laval, um, Ryan Moorhead. You're talking a lot of veteran players here. So, but are those truly the best representation? Or are those the guys that can afford to travel to Europe for however long the event was? I know they're so great. There, there's players. the argument. Yeah, they're great. No, no doubt about that. But I'm not sure that financial situation going on there. But <laughs> but that helps. They're, they're good players. Um, are they a little bit older? Yes. But I don't know. Anyways, Bear rips into him and says, "How can US Team USA not pull out a win with those superstar players in the lineup?" And then he also says, "Well, maybe you should have had somebody better on there." Yeah. That's, that's my argument. Is some of those know. names are names we recognize. Second names place we knew. is still good, but it's not first. It's place. the first loser, though. Technically, I feel you. hey, I mean, and, like I and, said, and kudos to them. I couldn't compete at that level if I wanted to. So let's just put that out there. I'm not saying like I'm better, but um, there is players. I hate to say it, that are probably better than some of those veterans that are current in the game that could have been picked but weren't. Whether it was financial situations, availability. I don't know all the semantics of why they weren't on the team, but that's something to consider in the future. You know, like I said, Dream Definitely. Team back uh, in the basketball and the, the Olympics, they wouldn't imagine not having Jordan and Pippen and some of those players, David Robinson, being on the Dream Team because those were legitimately the best players in the game. And financially, they could afford to take off for the time needed. Uh, we have players now, we can argue that paintball players at the professional level aren't getting paid what they should be compared to other oh, yeah. professional sports. So it makes it harder for uh, for a Greenspan, a Ronnie Dizon, for guys that we know we love, that are exciting, that they're fresh, they can play. Uh, You're saying game. Greenspan is fresh, man. Well, he's, he's old been around as dirt, yeah, but he's, but he's still at the top. Obviously. He's, he's still up there, right, in terms <laughs> yes. of quality. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why weren't those guys there? I don't know the reasons, good or bad. We lost to the Russians. 2019, we lost, we lost two years in a row to the Russians. Some great photos on the screen now you can see. Yes. Uh, the different teams oh, yeah. with their flags. So um, USA takes second out of 17 teams. Not bad, but it's not the dub. It's no. not the big win. And the Russians have always been super solid competition. So, and who check it out. Check the article out. out. Yeah, we, Russia won. So we beat France and Norway. Okay. So All Russia, right. USA, France, then Norway. So that's fair. Boom. 
On to the next one. Next story. JT jerseys and pants? Um, Hot I, rod. I think I've seen that before. That looks familiar. That is very, looks super familiar. I have one of those, the old original hanging in my office, which is awesome. I love the American flag, the JT old school racing style. That's exact jersey that I have in my office right there, that one. Mm -hmm. Yep, super old. It's pretty sweet. Um, they're bringing them back though, right? That's what it sounds is like. Is he wearing an unreleased 2019 JT jersey? You guys should probably go to pbnation.com to check out this article and see what's actually going on. What do you think? Is Well, that's, I mean, I'm just going off the article. So it, it looks like the old jersey, the yeah. hot rod style, they called it. Yeah. But there's a new JT logo on oh, the yeah. cup oh, yeah. that wasn't there in the original. New. So it's definitely a modernized version, whether it was something that... Uh, they're gonna officially release. We hope because it'd be yeah. nice. I, I might pick one up. Those are fucking hot. Uh, <sighs> he said the F word. Boop. But if not, maybe it's a custom job because Never know. we know where to get jerseys printed. Custom and jerseys. For I sure. can make one with anything on it. You Slow want. Weak always has that has that hotness. Yeah. So, what so uh, let's just scroll real quick. See if we get an official release. You know what? You go look and see if there's yes. an official release. Moving on to the next story. This one was kind of cool. I want to see this table book. Uh, paint, we actually, paint Magazine, P8 paint? NT. Oh, this is one? actually in this video. I'm actually lucky enough to own. It's got a little like, someone spilled a little something uh -oh. on there, but it's a 2003 edition. Yeah. It uh, Back then it was $5 in the United States or $8 in Canada. Because the exchange is, rate was in our favor. It is almost in condition. There's not... There's not many pages ripped or anything yeah. missing. It's looking pretty good over here. Yeah. Um, and look at Evil. Still, I still have the card in there. Back when the Evil Omen was like a wow. thing. It wasn't ever <laughs> like good, but it was a thing you could say. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, Paint I've got, Magazine. I've got a couple of issues too. I'll see if I can dig them up. This is a day. 2003 edition. You will see the picture of Crystal Soya in this actual video on PB Nation. Um, check out Paint. Uh, they're coming back. Lomo Paintball did actually do a um a donation to get us a hardcover book and our name in the back as well so once again this is absolutely fantastic they're kind of doing a um a throwback to how tournament paintball transitioned from the woods into where it is now in like the glory or the heydays of of hard you know hard paintball per se when people didn't cry about getting overshot when shit was full auto, when Don't stuff lie, was... they always cried. Yeah, I mean, still, though, but now, everyone's crybaby. Yeah. Back then, when tournament paintball was rocking, 2000, 2005, between those times, boom. And we did a video on, on paintball media that you should look into, some of the different magazines and stuff of the day that were super popular and... And I even like, I think in the back, you can keep talking, Mark, I'm yeah. just gonna take a quick... Peek. So, so there, Paint Magazine made a famous F8MOUS limited edition hardcover book that had hundreds of photos, stories, interviews from 1999 to 2004. That's older than some of you guys that are watching this video right now yes. are. Uh, five years that were some of the most instrumental in paintball. It's when Woods Ball started getting into the tournament scene, X Ball came out, uh, Air Ball, electronic markers. like. That little chunk of time we take for granted now, we're like, oh, you're an old mechanical guy. Oh, that's a cool old look. Like this was the time period that that happened. That 99 to 2004 era is when everything switched. Uh, that's when I was in the thick of things doing media for a couple of local for, companies. For maybe uh, p and Paintball. Yeah. That's yeah. In, in Michigan, p and yeah. uh, Lone Wolf Paintball there. Yep. Uh, we've got Hell Survivors still around, Lone Wolf, and uh, we have TC. So mm -hmm. shout out to, this magazine is from 2003. Shout out to TC, shout out to us, shout out to PMP. Caesar made his comeback. PMP's yep. not around, but he's still around. And then shout out to Hell Survivors for still being around, thir no, 16, I'm bad at math, 16 years later? It was 2004, yeah, 16. 19. No, it's yeah. 23, it's 03. 23. Yeah, so 16, so 16 yeah. yeah, 16 years later, still rocking, still around in business. Mm -hmm. Um, Paint Magazine, you guys need to go check this out. They're bringing it back. It's it's awesome. I can't wait to see this book. I'm excited to see which articles they cherry-picked from that yes. era. 
I'm, one, I'm hoping that they do some of the old advertising because I have a finger in a couple of that. Uh, but Ooh. overall, it's an amazing throwback to a time capsule to an era that most of you, or some of you, I should say, not most, some of you have never had exposure to. And it was a defining era in paintball. I'm excited that they're doing this. I love when companies do these throwbacks and I can't wait to see the book. BBNation.com, click on the article, watch the three minute and something long trailer of what's coming. Yeah. And uh, it's beautiful. Uh oh, he's gonna, you're playing just I a little bit. I muted it, no, yeah, just, okay. just a little bit on the screen. Sunday drivers. Yeah, there's a push, I mean, there's yeah. so many, yeah. Go to pbnation.com, click on this, and watch it. You guys are gonna Brand love it. World. And this you know, brings it back. You Sup got, Air You got freaking Ali Lang, you got Billy oh, Saransky, you got, I mean, so many different people. Uh, Chris Lasoya, it's, the list goes on. So, yeah. It's an amazing check video, it out. it's an amazing project. Uh, support it if you can, and if not, borrow buddies that did, because it's worth looking through. I can't wait and to see it. And we did support, we did support. We're gonna have the hardcover book and our name in the back, so. Boom, can't wait, on to the next one. Boom, shaka Is this it? No, angry we got, we got one more. I know, the angry build. All right, so for some of you guys, we have a history in Michigan for being auto cocker lovers, PMP paintball, the super cocker, the cold fusion. Uh, but we also respect the the Bob Longs, the Danny, I always forget Danny. Danny Love. Danny Love. Uh, you know, we love our auto cockers here in Michigan. And Caesar and actually works with Jason, play. so. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, they did a collab. They just they put out a Angry Antle Super Cocker 2020. Go check out Super check Cocker 2020 yeah. to see that. Check out Angry Antle's Facebook page. He's got pictures too. Uh, it's a really but cool gun. This 1911 that Antle this built is was awesome. Yeah. So uh, I think it's like a mini block. I, I just saw a quick. Like, so if you don't know what a 1911 is, that's that's a handgun. That's a, a real normal, firearm. Doo -doo -doo -doo, you're gonna shoot real bullets. Uh, it's a style that's been around for a very long time. It's, it's very got popular. the hashes in the back uh, of the, the actual. The grips on a ton of auto cockers are based off the 1911 grips Correct. forever. So they they made a 1911 style they did. body. We got a good picture yeah, of it. This we, is all this the This is machining. all the behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. So Antle does good work. Also, obviously, check out Angry Antle's auto yeah. cocker. I got to meet Facebook. him at ICPL finally the first time. Known him by reputation. Finally got to meet him in person. Like mm -hmm. I said, our local guy does. Um, Caesar does has done a build, or they definitely contact start to with see each the other. Billing. Yeah, they do yeah. the slashes. I mean, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then they uh, they they sent out the front pneumatics to a guy. I forget CMN Fabrication. Yeah. CMN Fabs. The front, um, the front pneumatics look like actual bullets, which is yeah. pretty freaking cool. So tons of custom work into this gun. I mean, it's here we go. Now we're yeah. starting to see some life. It's coming together. Yep, yep, yep. There's, and then there's, there's, there's like that bullet pretty, right there. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty sweet. So guys, yeah, shout out, check them out. So I, I, you know, it, I can see some people looking at it and be like, eh, what's a big deal? It's a very blocky, squared off. But it's that it's replicating the style of something else that is a very popular style. You know, it doesn't have the the, the sight rails on the top. It's it freaking sweet, It doesn't have the P-block. It is, it's an amazing piece Truly of- Truly custom. If you don't appreciate it, then uh, keep yeah. it moving because I mean, guys, auto cocker guys like us, I mean, I think so they did the a list. hell of yep. a job on it. AKA Lightning Bolt, AKA Tornado Valve, Custom War Games product camera, AKA Spring, Working product, Brass Ram, Brass Ram Palmer's Micro Rock. Trigicon iron, Trigicon's nice yeah, too. Benchmark frames, the sales roller seal, shock tech trigger plate, custom trigger and springs, Eclipse pops and Eclipse barrel with Staunchy XL insert. Uh, Staunchy does uh, boring. Uh, there's a couple other companies, we'll do a video on that soon. I had a couple uh, barrels freak board for me. Uh, wasn't through Stanchi. He does great work, but it was through another guy that doesn't get enough credit, and he's hopefully going to keep doing it. Uh, amazing marker. I, I, That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I wish he was doing a production run because I'd love to be able to see <laughs> one in person. Yeah. So once again, shout out to him. And uh, what we do is we go to pbnation.com for our paintball news. Shout out to John Dresser, great guy, very friendly, and he's keeps this site. Him and his other you know companions mm -hmm. keep the site up with the latest and greatest. Um, are we, when's this going live, you think? Uh, this will be live. It's it's Monday. If you're watching this, it's, it's Monday. Monday. The Iron City Classic just happened. Uh, put in the comments I'm below looking. who you think 
uh, was the underdog, who won, who should have won the Iron City Classic. We've got a yeah. couple of our guys out there. Me did and Mark got to stay back and shoot yeah. videos. Did you what? Did you see Joe and Caesar at the Jerky Den? Did booth? you buy some jerky out there? Jerky Let's Den, see. here's the exclusive. Jerky Den, use the code paintball, save 10% off online Boom. sales. Boom, shakalaka. You see the picture of uh, Mr. Dresser on the screen now. <laughs> Did you see him? He's at all the major events. Yes, he is. He's, he's, a, he's a little shy sometimes. Go pat him on the back like, John, we love your stuff. Lone Wolf sent us. Anything else you want to add no, before we No, just looking this? through my paint magazine. Can't wait till it gets I miss, here. I miss old school uh, Don't forget, go to pbnation.com for all your paintball news. LoneWolfPaintball.com. Hit the online store. And then thejerkyden.com. Use the code paintball to save 10% off your order for some lean protein. Till next time, we're, we're out, out of here. here. Take it easy. See ya.